<laughs> married? Is that, yeah? You think I'm gonna get married? Why don't you ask if I need, if I want a boss? I need a line of salutes, man. I need variety, man. But have you ever fallen in love with a girl and, and, and wanted to stay with them? Or? No. So you, you love, but not monogamy? Well, I love salutes. As I say, man, we keep going back to it. From the bottom of my heart, I love these salutes, man. I love all my salutes. But I just don't want to see one every day. I don't even want to see most of them again. Uh -huh. But I love them. I got nothing but love for them. I want them to have wonderful lives. And that's why I enter their lives on occasion. I'm just, like, I, I bring joy. I give gasms that blow their fucking minds, right? So when they're on their deathbed and their grandkids come up to them, they're like, Granny, don't go. And Granny's like, you know what? I think if I close my eyes and I go to that other place, like I don't know if it's heaven or what, but the bag will be there. The bag will be there on all fours, spreading my legs like that, going down on me, mucking around like a champ. I know they think about that stuff, man. When I go down and muck around, dude, I'll go there till the job is done, dude. My tongue doesn't stop fucking around down there, man. I'm like a fucking, like, I don't know what RoboCop would be like going down on a woman, but I always think about RoboCop when I go down on a woman. I always think, how will RoboCop eat this pussy? I always think about RoboCop. I bet you RoboCop would fuck. But even RoboCop can't touch what the bag delivers. I mean, man. He's a douchebag. That's what the world's saying. He's a douchebag. Here's how you know I ain't playing. He's a douchebag. There was a vote. It's legit. He's a douchebag. Bro, don't even give a shit. This is Jimmy Sweezy, and as you are probably aware by now, he is officially the world's biggest douchebag. At least according to this online poll that went globally viral and attracted hundreds of millions of voters. When the poll closed on July 15th, 2014, the name on top of the leaderboard was Jimmy Sweezy, from Canada of all places. This came as a surprise to just about everyone, and I was especially surprised to learn that he came from my hometown of Vancouver. But my world turned upside down the next day when somebody published Jimmy's address online and I discovered that the world's biggest douchebag lives less than 200 yards up the street from me. This is his building, and that's my building. Now, I am not a documentary filmmaker. In fact, I drive a UPS truck for a living. But I do have these two cameras and the iPhone that I'm shooting them with, and my neighbor is this guy, who just became this guy, and a lot of people are curious about who he is and how the hell he managed to get 32,843 people to vote him world's biggest douchebag. So fuck it. Driving a UPS truck sucks ass. I'm going to become a documentary filmmaker. I had one problem, though. I couldn't do this without Jimmy, and he wouldn't return any of my calls. Not to be deterred, I began talking to his family and friends and discovered that I could most likely find him at Hastings Racetrack almost any Saturday or Sunday. So to be discreet, I took my tiny little GoPro camera down to Hastings Racetrack, and sure enough... There was Jimmy, in Jerome's bar, right where people told me he would be. Jimmy, Jimmy, I'm Garth Daisy. I've been calling you. I've left you a few messages. I'm the documentary film guy. Dude, shut that fucking camera up. He wasn't happy to see me, but he did agree to talk with me briefly outside the racetrack and off camera. Put the fucking camera away. I said I'll give you five minutes, but you put that fucking camera away right now. Put it away. It's off. It's off. All right. Let's just get this over. So, all right, so why don't you want to be part of this documentary? This whole thing is fucking bullshit, man. I, I can't believe you don't fucking see this. This whole thing is a fucking joke. That website might be real. They might have done a fucking poll, but I didn't actually win this thing. It's my friends punking me. They all voted a thousand fucking times each to make me look like an idiot. But you know who's the fucking idiots? All these guys who believe this shit. Like you, wrapping your life around some fucking documentary. This, none of this is fucking real. Well, I don't happen to believe that's true, Jimmy, okay? I've done some investigating. I've talked to the programmer of the website. I know that the result is legit. You really did get 32,000 votes. I think this is a fascinating subject matter. And as a documentary filmmaker, I want to show the humanity of this. I'm not out to make fun of you, Jimmy. I'm the only one who's not. I'm, I'm here to let you tell your side of the story. You clearly need me more than I need fucking you, all right? You think I give a fuck what people think of me? I'm the fucking bag, bro. You start following me around with a camera, everybody keeps coming up here, give me five, give me five, give me five, everywhere I go. People love the fucking bag, man. If I, 
if I fuck, if I do this, then we play by my fucking rules, all right? You only film me. You don't talk to my family. You don't talk to anybody from my past. Not gonna happen, Jimmy. That's, I'm told you. I'm doing this with or without you. I've already talked to your family. I've already spoken to some people in Tofino. I've already talked to some of your friends around town. You've been avoiding my calls. I've been talking to everyone else. You can be in it or not, man. You can you can tell your side of the story, or everyone else can tell your story. Oh, so it's on. Jimmy wants to have his say, and he's not holding back. My name is Garth Daisy. Join me in this ongoing journey to answer the question that millions around the world are asking. Who is Jimmy the Bag? Slut is a nice thing. Slut is a term of endearment. Uh, slut is like a... Um, it's a mean thing. A lot of high school girls have to deal with that word slut all the time, and it, it hurts, it fucks with them. For me, slut is sweet, man. Like, when I call a girl a slut, I'm saying it in the, most, in the warmest connotations I can think of, right? A slut to me is an angel. It's a beautiful angel. Uh, I empower women. Uh, I don't shit on women. I find women, they're the most important people in our community. They're the strength. They keep us together, and I like to fuck them. 